Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressor feta pule kapas. From that day, the creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. Watch this. Matthew 13, I mean Genesis 13. And the Lord said to Abraham, after that Lot had separated from him, lift up now your eyes. What was the first thing he lifted? Not his feet, his eyes. And look from the place where you are, not the place you want to be, from the place where you are, lift up your eyes from that place of poverty from that place of spiritual bankruptcy from that place of of irrelevance if i will use that expression lift up your eyes and he says where thou art look from the place where thou art northward southward eastward westward next verse for all the land which thou seest not the land which is available all the land which thou seest to thee i will give it and to thy seed anything you see will outlive you your seed must benefit from it it says for as long as you can see it i will give you in a way that your seed will also have it forever lift up your eyes see Verse 16, we're reading to 17. I will make your seed as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can number the dust of the earth, then shall thy seed also be numbered. 17, hallelujah. Arise, now that you have seen, walk through the land. You don't start by moving, you start by seeing. Walk through the land in the length of it and the breadth of it, for I will give it unto you. Listen, the problem is many people start moving and acting without seeing. The assignment, listen to me, the assignment of the spirit of faith is to make you see what God is saying. God's servant, Bishop David Oedipo, will say, you cannot doubt what you see. You can doubt what you hear. How many of you have picked up a call to answer a call and you suspect it's someone and you say, who is that? And he said, ah, your voice has changed, but not what you see. Can you say I'm wearing white? Am I wearing white? Because you can see. The same way you can see physically and it gives you confidence. Nobody will move to a closed door with his eyes open because you can see is that true so you know you need to open the door that's how it is spiritually and that's how it is by the word let this word become your new eyes that you see through the word if you can see it that god has said it and then you find out listen seeing it does not just mean finding it in the word seeing it also means find out the principles that commit god over that issue find out what you must do to commit god there is always something there is a participatory role that you have as far as committing god is concerned you want to be great you want to excel you want to rise beyond your status quo you want to rise beyond the limitation of your territory see and you go to deuteronomy chapter 28 from verse 1 and 2 it shall come to pass if thou shalt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord to do and observe all that I command you to do, right? That I will exalt you above the nations of the earth. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. And all these blessings will come upon you and overtake you. When he was speaking it, he was not just speaking it to Israelites because we are that seed. The seed of Abraham, Galatians chapter 3 and verse 29. And if ye be Christ's, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise.
believe that I've been called to a life of grace, a life of glory. I believe it doesn't matter the witches, the wizards. It does not matter the orchestrations of darkness that befall the day. I know by the Spirit of God that in partnership with the Word and in partnership with the Spirit, that I will live a victorious life, serving the purposes of the kingdom and excelling while I do so. This is my conviction. You make the Word of God become your frame of reference. Are we together now? And then you commit God by walking in keeping with the principles that make it happen. Many of us here, I wish I had the time. Well, let's see what happens tomorrow. We still have a session tomorrow. Many of us want to rise. You want to rise out of a life of mediocrity, a life of poverty, a life of failure. My brothers and my sisters, there is a way to do it. If you think the way is business, think again. If you think the way is just buying and selling, think again. No. It is not what you do. It's primarily who you know. Then what you become by reason of that knowledge. Then what you do from the standpoint of that becoming. Are you seeing now? Everything starts with knowledge. Let's round up with this scripture for tonight. Daniel 11, 32. Daniel 11, 32. Take it high for me. He says, the B part. But the people that do know. Everybody say no. One more time. Say no. Say knowledge. That's the beginning. The ultimate goal is exploits. But here's how it starts. Knowledge. Then if they know, they shall be strong so they will be knowledge becoming then doing equals to exploits knowledge of god and then his ways transformation by that encounter and then the wisdom that comes from that transformed version of you you now walk circumspectly as wise and not as unwise it will be equal to a life of exploits. Everywhere that I go, everything that I do, I'll hear in sanana. Everywhere that I go, everything that I do, I'll hear in sanana. That becomes your life. Listen. You will be an overflowing bank of grace when you understand this. The effulgence of the beauty and the glory of God's grace upon your life. Let me tell you, you will be the first spectator of that sight. You, your own life. I know what I'm telling you. It is true. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good. You don't just do good. There is something that must be in place for you to do good. Healing all day that were oppressed of the devil. Listen to me. From this night's meeting, I want you as we we'll pray for a few minutes, make a decision. That your life is not going to be the way you met it. Make up your mind. I'm tired of giving excuses about my life. I've been giving excuses it's because I'm in Zaria. It's because I'm this and that. Refuse. The word of God is an advantage. It is true. I'll hear in sanana. Everywhere that I go. Everything that I do. I'll hear in sanana. The wonder working power of the word when the word finds expression in your heart and it turns you into a sign and a wonder spiritually you are a sign and a wonder 
financially every aspect of your life let me give us one scripture to end tonight this is my desire and this is my prayer i know that many of us as far as loving jesus and serving him is concerned i testify that many of us love him i give that credit to you i know by the spirit by the grace of god this is a house that loves jesus we love him in different degrees but sincerely i can stand boldly to tell the world that this is a house that loves jesus so passionately our love for jesus has been proven again and again but in addition to your love for jesus and your desire to make him known to the nations god desires that you excel in your life he wants you to rise to a point where your life becomes a testament of god's glory and anything short of this truth do not receive it whilst you serve him whilst you live for him whilst you exalt his name and declare his praise to the nations he wants your life to experience the goodness the glory the power of god because that quality of your life is also a message genesis 24 one genesis 24 verse 1 genesis 24 verse 1 everyone please read and abraham was old hold on that means he lived long everybody say long life and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed joshua selman in all things and the lord see it is what you see that is given not what your neighbor sees not what your family sees as far as your eyes can see the possibilities that the word of god constructs for you becomes your inheritance the portion you have seen is the portion you step into not the portion available the portion you see if all you see from the word is an excelling spiritual life that's all you will get if all you see in the word of god is a prosperous life and you don't see a spiritually vibrant life you will get prosperity at the detriment of your spiritual work if all you see in the world is divine health that's all you will get but if you see everything everything that makes god god spiritual fire vibrancy in your life vibrancy in your finances and you say god this is what i have seen he says unto you because you have seen it this becomes your inheritance let us not allow our children suffer because we did not see well son of man what seest thou the root the shoot of an almond tree he says you have seen correctly as a result of what you have seen I will hasten my word to perform it. What word? The one you have seen. Jeremiah chapter 1 from verse 10 to 12. The whole context is from verse 5 to 12. Beautiful thing I have
I've ever had in my life You are the reason that's why I am living in this world I admire the way you are always there for me I admire the ways you always take care of me I admire the way you give your all just to see A loving smile on my face I admire the way you love me I admire the way you are always there for me I admire the ways you always take care of me I admire the way you give your all just to see A loving smile on my face I admire the way you love me Jeremiah Aside from your biological parents aside from your spouses for those who are married believe me when I tell you it will be very difficult for you to find a single human being that loves you more than me But as much as I love you, even if I feed you, I can't swallow for you. I can't digest it for you. Is that true? Even for patients who doctors use another means to get food to them, when it gets to the body, your body must be alive to digest it. I pray for you all the time. And I want you to know that every time I come and bring the word of God like I've always done, it's not because I'm looking for anything for myself. No. It is a passion to see that everyone can rise. And that for as long as I am alive, I will not sit down and watch the devil destroy anybody's life in mediocrity and make you fail and live a defeated life. Seated in this place are people who represent the next generation of what God is doing. The same way the baton was passed to us and now we are running as faithful as he granted us as he's granted us grace it is my assignment and my responsibility under god to see to it that there is continuity to what god is doing my beloved people hear me you are greater than I'm not
rain dripping every time you look at your shoe we have been taught mundane parameters look at what is happening to your spirit man look at what is happening to your mind that is the real wealth what is happening around you is temporal it will change the word of God has such a force it can superimpose upon it provided you are engaging it provided you are engaging it sitting down and merely hoping that life will evolve itself into victory for you is flattery it will not happen that way you will be intentional three prayer points tonight very quickly our time is up prayer point number one restore my fire for the word restore my fire for the word restore my fire for the word restore my appetite for the word restore my fire for the word someone is praying restore my appetite for the word don't be distracted the overflow pray. following online pray man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of god please pray pray Shela kaparaga to sedegele bakata, pranda skata bakata prateke de balakata. Heaven and earth will pass away, but your word abides forever.
Shadow human lighter, mountain human climber, coming after me. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climber, coming after me. No one you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Are you praying for your destiny? No shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming after me. No one you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down. Coming after me. A restoration of fire for the world beyond reading one verse per day beyond just morning devotion get us in Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.